All right, guys, welcome back to another video of me disassembling this motor. Before you guys say anything, yes, I know it's a giant puddle of coolant right there. I'll vlog it to that later. Um, what I did in my last video is I basically took up all the timing parts in the front of the engine, took up the timing cover um, all up front over here. I haven't taken off the oil pump yet. I'll do that when I take up the oil pan because there's two bolts right here and it'll just be easier when I get the oil pan off. Um, but, um, quick little recap, um, basically why I'm doing this. Something happened to my motor, it seized up and it won't, um, you know, it won't rotate, won't crank over. So something got hydro locked. Um, me and my friends, we kind of all have a, a million guesses on what happened to this motor, but you know, we're not going to know for sure until, you know, we take off the oil pan and look underneath from there. But before I get to that. I want to kind of take off everything else. So what I did off camera is I took off one of the heads and I said over here, taking off the heads when you get this far is not too difficult. Um, there is a specific procedure on how you want to remove them. Um, heads have a torquing sequence. Um, basically what I mean by that is, um, for example, all the bolts are here. You don't want to just torque them like this or like this. Each specific head for uh, each specific car, they have different um, um, torquing sequences. So basically when you are removing the head, you want to do the opposite of the torquing sequence. So the torque sequence for this car, it's um, this one, this one, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, something like that. So basically what you would want to do is you want to look up the targeting sequence and you want to take it off of backwards. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and you know, like I said in my last video, I am not no professional. It's my first time removing head. Actually, no, it's my second time removing a head. Um, first time on my, on a Mustang. Um, so first I'm going to look for the socket that I need that I completely forgot where I put again. So as you can see, I'm using my phone. It's connected to the GoPro. So basically I looked the torquing sequence on my phone and then, you know, just wrote it down um, to this, yeah. So I'm gonna leave that right there. Um, now I need to find my breaker bar and my socket with extension. So I have a 15 on here. And basically, like I said, you wanna do it backwards. So we're gonna start off with bolt number 10. So 10 will be this one. So you want to be very careful, do not accidentally break something. Okay, so that's number nine. Now I'm going to go to number eight. Number eight's over here. What I'm just doing is I'm just loosening the bolts just a little bit, just a couple of turns and then moving on to the next one and then I'm going to redo the sequence again because you want the head to come off evenly. You don't want it to warp or anything like that. So seven, which is down here, will be the next one. Okay, next is going to be six. This one is six. And then five. Now four. And then three. My arms getting tired. <laughs> then two. And then one. All right, now I'm gonna give my arm or my shoulder a break. I mean, by the way, I I'm not peeing. I sort of got that's cool it right there. Okay, so basically, I switch over to my broken torque wrench and that doesn't torque properly but uh, I can still use the loosened bolts. Um, now I'm just going through every single bolt again, loosening it. I don't know if this is really necessary to do it like this, but um, you know, I'd rather be safe than sorry. I'm already putting a lot of money into this engine. Well, my whole car that is, um, because I am gonna be doing a lot of suspension work as well. It's not just gonna be all engine. I want to do more than just go in a straight line, but um, now that everything is pretty loose, I'm going to just go ahead and grab the Dewalt. 
and loosen each bolt, take off every single bolt. And these are trash. You never want to reuse head bolts, unless they're ARP. I believe ARP um, bolts and any bolts in general are reusable. But I am going to be doing head studs because this will be a boosted car. Head studs is a lot better um, than head bolts. All right, guys. So all the bolts are removed. So basically what I'm going to do now is put my drill back. And I'm putting the head on towels because I don't want it to be any type of hard surface. Um, because I don't want any type of damage. So one thing when you lift the head up, it might be seized onto the head gasket. So just pull, you know, with your hands and it'll come off. And there you go. That's basically how you remove a head um, off a two valve when the motor's not in the car and stuff like that. So basically before, um, you know, take up the oil pan. I want to see if any of the cylinder walls are damaged. I can't really tell just by looking at eye. I don't think there's... Yeah, I don't really see anything by eye. Sometimes, you know, I've seen some videos where people have like crazy marks in the cylinder wall, but I don't think that's the case for me. All right, guys, there you go. That's how you take off the head off a of 4.6 or any motor in that um, case it's not too difficult you know if you're watching this video and your engine's still in the car and you need to remove the head then you know obviously you have to do a couple a lot more steps than this but you know my engine's out of the car already took up all the timing um, if you guys haven't seen that like I said you know go check out my last video very easy procedure these engines are not too difficult to work on um, it's like I said very simple but um, that's gonna be it for today's video um, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, make sure you follow my Instagram. It's be right here. I post updates of when I upload, so you know, and pictures of my car. Um, yeah, that's about it. And deuces.